Has your book reached the audience you desire to read? Spent hours and hours coming up with a perfect book project? Are you happy with the return on time you invested? You can smile now. At Tagmania Studios, we have the perfect solutions for you. We can do video book promotions. More importantly, we can help you do a video book review. We can make your books go viral. Call today. Healing Healing power, healing power, healing power, healing power. Basson delegi ya bahan tarada bayadaha. Shaba bayan delegi delebo saya bahatara bayade. Ye parado saya man delegi de brosha likadaba. Healing power, healing power today, healing power today. Saya mandele kushara bayan talabadados. Ika parado saya mandala barakata paya. Your healing power, your healing power, your healing power. Yanto shabasante le gusa barade belea. Ibaya katara bayan delegede bayada. Your healing power, Jesus, your healing power. Mason tala bayan delegeta paradosh. Yakatara bayan delego sarabayan tala bahados. Yakatara bayan delegede boshalabaya. Your healing power today, your healing power. Ya paradosa yakapaya hada. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ya rabadoshalabaya. Apana si singa koneke ne mi. Apana si singa koneke ne mi. Dimi murapi mukuru ano poresa. Dimi murapi mukuru ano pore sang mari apa na si singa kone kene mi apa na si singa kone kene mi mari wangu kan dimi murapi mukuru. No poresa, yeah. Dimi murapi mukuru, ano poresa ngari. Apana si singa koneke ne mi. Apana. Si singa kone kene mi mari wangu kane kutubenga. I want to me murapi mukuru ano por. 
Moresa Dimi Murapi Mukuru Ano Poresa Mari Oh God Batapanorwa Tanesi Tarake Upore Iwe Five brothers are coming out. Cancer is going. Nesitara Jesus. Murapi Mukuru Arimuno. Watishanira. Murapi Mukuru Arimuno. Watishanira. Bata panor wata nesi tarake upore iwe five brothers are coming out corona is going nesi tarake so oh God mora be mukuru ari muno watishani ra. What is Shanira Murabi Mukuru Arimuno? What is Shanira Murabi Mukuru Arimuno? What is Shanira? Panorwata Nesitarake Upore Iwe Ikana Nanushaya Five brothers are coming out Cancer is going Nesitarache So oh God Murabi Mukuru Arimuno Watishanira Nesitarake Upore iwe Ukabada ya gadaba Five brothers are coming out Corona is going Nesitarache So Murabe mukuru Arimuno Uadishanyira Murabe mukuru Arimuno Ela ya na na so ya na ne 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 Pora Iwe Musita Rachesu Pora Iwe Pora Iwe Pora Iwe Kala bayante de do shayaba Musita Rachez Pora Iwe Pora Iwe Pora Iwe Musita Rachez Gadabayan tarabado shali kata paradabaya ya parado sayaman telege de pele ya manto sara gadabayan talabaya bata parado sege de pele da ya taradabayan tolo shabada gada healing rain healing rain healing rain healing rain ya kata radabayan talabaya daba sakata rabayan telege do shabara gadabaya. God is healing you today in the name of Jesus. Every sickness, it is no power over your life. The Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, as for you, I shall come with healing. As for you, I bring healing, curing the uncurable diseases. 
bayan de legete be yakata rabayada ye baba bayan de legete de pray shakata parada bayan talagata the bible says for god is highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that in the name of jesus every knee shall bow corona is a name but not above the name jesus hiv is a name but not above the name jesus five broad is a name but not a name above the name jesus god is healing you today the lord 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 is healing you today there is no sickness that is going to go out of his presence your life today shall never remain the same you are listening to us right now you are saying you've been battling cancer for years you say you've been battling hiv for years but let me tell you something child of god today is your day the great healer is here 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 kala baya da da baya Ah Mananu saya nana musita raches ya mano ya na ya mano na 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 porra iwe oh ya mana ya na musita raches oh ma ya na na saya Paula Uena Ngekama Liga Chesu Paula Uena Ngekama Liga Pola wena, pola wena, pola wena. Kabaya dala baya dabaya, ye kama liga ches. Zanu kada baya dabaya da. Ima mano sapara deke mana nakushaba ya panas ya man deke dedo sada ipala do shani tana kosa para daba ya baya dada baya ante deko do sha imanta daba sa ya manta baya ya manta baya ya manta baya ya manta baya iman saya ka ya no sakuta ya pala kada do sha ya pala kado sa ya pala ya pala ya pala ya pala Ia pala, ia pala, ia kada pada pada pada, ia pada dado shaba, masa kada pada ka, ia pala dada pada kada, ia mande dege de, ia pala kadush, masuka, 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 masuka tapa ya para dada pia kado shaba, ia pada dada ya dada ya, ia te pada kaso ya, God is healing you today, healing in your wallet, healing in your family. Finances, healing in your marriage, healing in your business. Apara kada baya kada, ya parada da baya da 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 bala, ya kada da da ba dosa 
Kale Katara, Yamante Leko Samanta Daba, healing in your spiritual life, healing in your calling, Masante Ko Paradosa Yababa, Yakatara Daba Yante Legede, Yakadaba Ragadaba Yagadaba Ladaba. Simbare yura buruka, simbare yumari. Come on, simbare yu rajishangira, simbare yure rimuno, simbare yura buruka, simbare yumari, simbare yu rajishangira. Simbare nyure rimuno, oh God, riku pole sama norwara. Simbare nyumari, eka baya, riku pala na kunema sinaba na. Simbare nyumari, riku furanzira pasinanzira. Simbare nyumari. I was Simbareño, 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 Mari. Simbareño, Ramuruca, Simbareño, Mari. Simbareño, Aradishanira, Simbareño, Ripano, Simbareño, Simbare nyu mari, simbare nyu rodi shanira akaba yakanda. Simbare nyu riri muno okona riri kupala na kunema sinaba na. Simbare nyu mari, riri kunza mabasa kunema sinaba basa. Simbare. Umari, eba kada da ba ya da ba ya da da ba ya da. Ya kada la mande de 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 de. Ye palaga do sha da ba ya da ga da ba da da. Samante le kosa, rapa ya da, 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 rapa ya da. Simbare nyu ramuru ka. Simbare nyu mari. Simbare nyu. Your power revealed. Shabayan de 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 de
Lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice wherever you are connecting. Masaka Tarabayam delegate every. Something is happening. That growth is disappearing. That growth is disappearing. Your situation will be transformed today. Your life shall never be the same again from today. Lift up your voice wherever you are. The power of God is touching you right now. The power of God is touching your business. The power of God is touching your broken marriage. The power of God is delivering you. The Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. Affliction shall not come for the second time. Whatever that you have been facing, whatever that you have been going through, it is coming to an end today. It is coming to an end today. In the name of Jesus. Simbare nyumbari, come on, come on. Simbare nyu roti shadira, simbare nyu rimudo, simbare nyu ramuruko, simbare nyu mari, simbare nyu roti shadira. Simare Kune sita remorume anesimba kaledo sata kamaya mavi o o se Oh, 
Lift up your hands wherever you are. Oh, 
There is none like you. Jesus, the revelation of God, the brightness of His glory. The hand of the church, which is His body, the fullness of God. The It pleased the Father that in Him should dwell all fullness.
as we continue to pray and as we continue to worship I would love you to be reminded of Hebrews chapter number 11 for without faith it is impossible to please God whoever comes to God must believe faith is not an option if we are to come to God in these seven hours of worship and prayer and pursuit I want you to understand that God is giving you and I an opportunity not to come to men but to come to you not to come to a church building but to come to you for many a time we come to church but we don't come to God you have a choice not to believe if you are coming to a church building you have a choice not to believe if you are coming to meet a man but whoever comes to God it's a matter of necessity and it's mandatory that you believe faith is the access cord that gives us access into the presence of God whoever comes to God must believe the hour has come the time has come the day is now when they that wanna approach the throne of grace or to understand that believing trusting in God having confidence and having the assurance the consciousness of his reality is a necessity if we are to come to God whoever comes to God must believe what must you believe must believe that God is it's good that we have heard of the God who did things in the yesterday and the yesteryears but whoever comes to God must believe that God is not only God of possibilities is not only God of reality in the yesterday but God is I came to remind you today that God is he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The enemy has no problem you believing the testimony of what he did in biblical days. But he has reservations and he has a crafty intention to make sure that you don't believe that God is. God is means that he is present. God is means that he is the present help you require even in these times of need. Whoever comes to God must believe there is an access to what God can make available that your money cannot give you that your pedigree cannot give you that your rank and your societal status cannot give you it's faith best it's a faith journey from where you are to where God is it's a faith journey whoever comes to God must believe the distance between where you are and where God is is believing whoever comes to God must believe that God is not only is he but he is a reward of them that diligently seek him and the righteous came together and began to confess what does it help to seek the face of God and scripture records such as an account but I want you to understand that this is the hour says God when there will be a distinction between he that sought the Lord diligently and he that sought the Lord frivolously but God is a sure rewarder of them that diligently seek him to diligently seek him means to put in the time, the effort, the heart, the hour, the fervency, the passion, the truthfulness, and the sincerity of heart. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. To diligently seek him means to seek him until you find him. To diligently seek him means to seek him until he finds you. For the time is coming, even now is when they that worship the Father will worship him in spirit and in truth that's diligent pursuit whoever comes to God must believe that God 
that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mandayana, 
We need you, Lord. We need you. We need you. We need you. Oh, 
Keep all my promises, he said, he said. I will never lie. Mandaraba sakataraba. I keep all my promises. Oya baso, here be suya mad. Ora baba su kete ya ba. Aye ma ye ma ye ma ye. Ora baso kota ya ba 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 baso ya. Mara manda ya su kuto ya ba su ya ba. When you go through fire, <laughs> your promises are yes and amen. Ora baso kota ya ba. You will never put us on shame, O oh God. Marabasuye Maya. You will never put us on shame, O oh God. Marabasakaya Maha. Whatever you said, you will do. <laughs> Whatever you said, you will do. Oh yeah. Marabasuye Maso. Maye Maye. Maye Maye. Oh, 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 oh,
one thing that I desire Which thing I'll seek after That I may dwell I don't want to be a visitor in your presence, God. I want to dwell in your presence. I want to dwell in your presence. I want to dwell in your presence, Jesus. I want to dwell in your presence. I want to behold the beauty of your holiness. I want to dwell in your presence. So open the eyes of my heart, God. Open the eyes of my heart, God. Open the eyes of my heart, God. Spirit of the living God, open the eyes of my heart. Want to see you. Want to know you. Want to see you. Want to know you. My mind is infantile. What do I know about you, God, compared to what can be known about you, God? Who can know you? Unless you invite them in. I want to know you, Jesus. For to know you is eternal life. I want to know you, Jesus. From my childhood, I was casted upon you. Teach me to dwell. Teach me your ways. I want to know you. You're precious. You're precious. And God, you're precious. You're precious. Your company is better. Your company is better. Spirit of the living God, your company is better. Your friendship is better. It's better. It's better. It's better. Oh. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. Eleve Sunday Kabai. That our worship and our prayers may rise into your nostrils as a sweet smelling aroma. Acceptable unto you. Not as it were that we qualified for it. But thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, you are the darling of my soul. Say yes to walk with me. Nariva le sante makuba. People come and go, but you are the company that never leaves. See, come and change, but you are the unchangeable changer. Be mine and let me be yours. Leo in my tissue, tissue in my muscle, an organ in my body. Every marrow and bone and ligament say yes to a covenant walk with me. We love you today, Jesus. Just to know you is enough. 
just to know you is enough so we bless you we bless you we bless you in Jesus name hi has your book reached the audience you desire to read? Spent hours and hours coming up with a perfect book project? Are you happy with the return on time you invested? You can smile now. At Tegmania Studios, we have the perfect solutions for you. We can do video book promotions. More importantly, we can help you do a video book review. We can make your books go viral. Call today. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Jesus, the revelation of our Father. Jesus, the express image of our Father. The brightness of his glory the one who has conquered death the one who is risen the one who is seated on the throne we come before you as children not as ministers your child your son is here to worship you I bow before these Lord to give you glory and to give you honor Worthy are you, O oh God, since the beginning of time, till this time and into future eternity, to receive glory and honor and praise. Psalms 139, the Bible says, You knew me before I was intricately knit together in my mother's womb. My days are were written in your hand, in your book, before they even took off. Father, I honor you, God. Even this day, it's not a surprise to you. It is a day imprinted in the passage of time that men and women and sons and daughters were going to gather in worship of Jehovah God. Father, we come before you not because there is no other God, but because we tried you and we found you to be worthy of all our praise, O oh God. We have come to enter your gates with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts, O oh God. For Father, many other things. Thank you, O oh God. O by son, Din sole bare komania kaida. The Lord proceeded kai. Where two or more are gathered in your name, you are there in their midst. May melt before you, for we are forever chasing after thee. We are forever chasing into your presence. Lord, we thank you. We love you, Lord. You are the spirit of the Father. You are the promise to the church. You are the spirit of purity. Where have you gone from your church? You are the spirit of the fire. You are the promise to the church. You are the spirit of purity. Where have you gone? from your church we want to see you Holy Ghost again come feel your time Holy Ghost again we want to see you Again, oh, feel your time, Holy Ghost, again. We want to see you, Holy Ghost, again. 
Come feel your time Oh, Holy Ghost again. Come feel our families again Come feel our streets again Come feel our schools again Fuck 
They will speak and they will be heard. Get ready, get ready. Yes, I'm of the Better than I know me. Teach me, Lord, to know your ways. To know. Go go on it by Jesus, watch it be much better. Go go at it, Zamara, na kune wakai. Tika wona tika ti inya shines. Thomas, is such a good. I know you, sir. What did that do? I'm so bad, my
There are things that we do from this side of life that we will not cross the curtain of time into eternity. Their relevance is time bound. But the glimpses of eternity that we see in the sacred scripture shows us that worship is one thing we do from this side of eternity that we will continue to do when we cross over the curtain of time. But then if worship happens in heaven, it has to be supernatural. Brothers and sisters, when we worship God, we don't just go through a human experience of venting our frustration and releasing our needs and expressing our pain to God. But when we worship, we cross a line. 
when we worship we cross a threshold we cross the line from the secular to the sacred we cross the line from the common to the uncommon we cross the line from the profane to the holy as we worship we transcend the natural into the supernatural even as Jesus after dying and rising from the dead scripture shows us that he entered into the heavenly sanctuary not as a high priest carrying the blood of sheep, goats and bulls but as the chief high priest carrying his own blood his eternal blood when we worship we are supernaturally transported by the power of the Holy Spirit right into the very presence of God to render unto him such a worship a reverence an adoration like he alone deserves any moment where the divine interfaces with the natural ought to be marked any place where the supernatural comes into contact with the natural ought to be marked it is the touch of the different God it is the touch of the unique God that makes the ordinary extraordinary that makes the common uncommon that makes the secular sacred he is a holy God and he is the quintessence of holiness and it is the touch of the holy God on the life of a normal human being that makes such a one holy it is the touch of the holy God on a natural thing that makes it holy it is the invasion of a holy God in normal time that makes that moment sacred even as we worship him in these seven hours this is a sanctified moment we are in a sacred moment you are in a sacred moment with god and nobody can penetrate such a sacred moment of intimacy with god walks out the way they walked in have us for yourself hold us in there don't let us come out eternal father keep me in this eternal moment let time not rupture me as I begin to fail in patience that I may tarry in this place infuse me with that all that deserves a God like you saturate every fiber of my being with a response of honor, reverence, and adoration is of a different God and as of a unique God, an incomparable one such as you are. That you would forbid my soul to treat you as common. You are the creator, I am but creation. You are the maker and we are the works of your hands. That you may forbid it ever to be an event in my life. That the awe of you can be depleted in my spirit. That the awe and the wonder of who you are can be depleted in my mind, my will, and my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Yarela soko badai. And let the redeemed of the Lord say amen.
We worship you, Lord. We worship you, King of Kings. We worship you. We love you. We love you. We love you, God. We love you, Master. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you. We love you. We love you. I love how you've healed me. I love how you've saved me. I love how you continue to just prune me and make me into what you want me to be. Oh, my Yalaba Sunday, Begaria Katabalaba Sunday. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, God. Ria Rosha. Ria Rosha. Ria Rosha. Ria Rosha. Ria Rosha. Vodzura kuno miyabo. Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah, 
never told a lie. You were a true God. You were a living God. You were a covenant keeping God. When have you ever changed your mind? When have you ever changed your mind? When have you ever changed your mind? You have searched us and you've known us. You know us when we rise, you know us when we go to sleep, you know our thoughts. Yet you love us. Yet you love us. What manner of love is this? What manner of love is this? What manner of love is this? Who am I before you go? That you love and you visit me. You have even exalted me. And you put us just a little lower. What is man that thou art mindful of me? Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who are we that you are mindful of us, O oh God? That you love.
He promised to never leave you. He promised to never leave you. Ooh, he promised to never leave you. Yeah, covenant keeping us. You'll never leave. Promise to never leave. That is all that matters You and me together That's all that matters That is all that matters I just want to be where you are I just want to be where I just want to be where you are. I just want to be where you are. Where you are, Jesus. Right in your presence. Where I want to be. This is where.
Dear Lord, we honor you. Our Father, even as we press into this worship experience, we pray today that you will forgive us of how we have handled your name. It's the priceless inheritance you left for the church. You say it in my name. You shall ask whatsoever thing you will and it shall be done. But Father, today we pray for a revelation of the holiness of your name. You say when you pray, say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, today, before we even press in to require of you that your kingdom come, we ask that your name may be revered that our hearts may be postured enough and rightfully to honor you as God. You are different. You are unique. You are incomparable. Nobody stands in your rank. You stand alone. We are so sorry for comparing you with mortals, yet you are an immortal God. We repent of regarding you as one of us when you stand far above so Lord we exalt your name we lift you up we extol you as we lift up our hands we lift up our hearts and we revere you we extol you let your name be lifted up in our hearts let your name have that reserved place that cannot be contested for our Father who art in heaven, let your name be handled with holiness, the reverence, the honor, the awe that it inspires. How we pray today, Father, in these seven hours of worship that the awe of God will never be depleted in our hearts. That each time we gather in your name, we may come in the weight of what it is. We may come in the honor and in the reverence. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come as we worship you, as we adore you, as we revere your name. Let your kingdom come from hearts that honor you. Let it be pleasing to you that your kingdom will be established. Establish your rule, your reign, and your dominion. In the affairs of our lives, in our hearts, the meditations of our hearts, the hidden intentions in the crevices of our, of our hearts. We pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you may rule and reign. Find yourself a people, even in this season, in whose hearts is enthroned you as king we honor you we bless you learn us over the by wherever you are just lift up your voice and begin to honor him as you close your eyes in that intimate space where you are allow yourself to intimate with him so closely like never before how would you worship him if you would, without a shadow of doubt, have it come to your awareness that you are all by yourself with him. You're right in his presence. And guess what? That's exactly what's going on now. We worship him, even in the beauty of his holiness. He's high. 
He is lifted up. He is incomparable. He stands alone. Besides him, there is no other. Apart from him, there is no other God. Every other God is an idol. He alone is the living God. Maya, get it, 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 get it,
your servant. I pray that even as they are watching us right now, fill them. Fill them in their home. I pray for the infilling of the Spirit of God. Open up your mouth wherever you are. If you do not speak in tongues, just lift up your right hand wherever you are. I release the power of God. I release the power of the living God upon your lives. May the Holy Spirit touch you. May the Holy Spirit fill you. May the Holy Spirit fill you again. May the Spirit of God fill you. May He touch you again. Just like it was in the book of Acts, chapter 2. That the power of the Holy Spirit came upon them on the day of Pentecost and they began to speak in other tongues. So shall it be in our days. They will be filled by the power. They will be filled by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be filled. Be filled. Be filled with the fire. Be filled with the fire. Akatambaya. Alata kataya. Akuteteka. Akotepa. Alakatiata. Alakatiata. Yes, yes, that's it. 
drink, begin to 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 drink, we love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Comforter. We love you, Great Teacher. We love you, Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because you said, you said in your word, I will not leave you alone. You said I will not leave you as orphans. But the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, I will leave you with the Holy Spirit, with the great teacher. You said he will teach you all things. He will teach you all things. Let's not limit him only to speaking in tongues. He is a great teacher. He is a great teacher. He is a friend that sticks closer than a brother. Holy Spirit, we love you. Fill us again, fill us again, fill us again. Let the river flow, let the river flow, let the river flow. <laughs> we love you, Holy Spirit. 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 I will love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, Spirit of God. Thank you for filling your people. 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 Thank you for filling us again. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. And begin to drink. And begin to drink. Allow the Spirit of God. Allow the Spirit of God to move in your life. You can put down your phone. You can put down your phone if you are listening from your phone. At this moment, you can put it down. And believe the Holy Spirit and believe God. For a deep infilling, for an infilling, may He fill you up again. May He fill you 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 again. May He touch you. May he touch you. May he fill you. Be filled. Be filled. Yes, <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 days is now cold. We are so lukewarm. We are backslidden. We long for the fire again. We long for the fire again. We acknowledge our failures. We acknowledge our weaknesses, Holy Spirit. We need another touch. We need another touch. Another. We need another. We need another. <laughs> fill our pastors, fill the prophets, fill the apostles. We need another. 
We need another touch. We need another touch. We need another touch. <laughs> We need another touch, Lord. We are tired of this same old song. Our songs are tired. Our songs have no revelation of Christ. We are so tired, Lord, we are backslidden. We need a touch of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Spirit of God, we welcome you. We give you your place in church. We give you your place in our lives. We give you your place in our homes. We need another touch. Holy Spirit, fill us again. Fill us again. Fill us again. Is 
Nasinda uya Ndichi shuvira Kushanyirwa Nemi Uya mutsweme Shawari yangu Yepejgo Yepejgo Nasinda uya Ichi shuvira Kushanyirwa Nemi Nemi Zara Nemi Nemi Nyota Nemi Nemi Ona imwe, ona ndasa rura. Oyo wangu, disanse. Ini ndine nzara, abo ndine nyota. Beyanche. Oh, <laughs> Dami Rira 
Get ready, church. Revival is coming. Revival is here. Get ready, sanctify yourself. Repent. Seek God. Live right. Go back to studying the word. Feed your spirit. Get ready. There is a revival that is coming. That's preparing the church for rapture. We are about to go home. But before we go, there's going to be a great harvest. There's going to be a great harvest. Come walk with me. Come walk with me. 
in this journey of life. I can't walk alone, Holy Spirit. Come, walk with me. Come, walk with me. Just come, walk with me. Holy Spirit. Come, sing with me. Come, sing with me. I don't Come, sing with me. Come sing with me. I don't want to go and sing there alone without you, Holy Spirit. Come sing with me. I can't jump onto the pulpit without you, Spirit. Come sing with me. Holy Spirit. Come preach with me. Oh, yeah. Come preach with me. This same one, Lord, come preach with me. I want to preach with power, with fire. Come preach with me. Holy Spirit, teach me how to pray. Come pray with me. Come pray. Help me intercede. Help me pray. Come pray. Come Holy Because I do not know how I ought to pray. Come pray. Come pray. I wanna pray. Come pray. We Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, come pray with me. Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
In the year that King Uziah died, I saw the Lord. These are the words of a man, a mortal man, an imperfect man, an insufficient man. Who had an encounter with God that did not only change his own personal life but the trajectory of his entire prophetic ministry, shaking a generation and the ripple effect reaching us up until today. One of a few, way before the ultimate manifestation of the Christ, Isaiah rises to become one worthy to be called a messianic prophet seeing these days from this side of the cross he says i saw the lord he was high we can't see him if we look down upon him we ought to allow our eyes and our gaze to look up to him as one who is lofty high and lifted up he says he was, he was high and lifted up. But the train of his robe filled the temple. And he begins to describe seraphims. <laughs> heavenly creatures. Seraphs. Heavenly creatures with six wings. You need to understand that God created every living thing. He created every creature for its habitat for the environment in which it is supposed to dwell. Mm. So the fish is created with fins mm. and gills because it's meant to dwell in water. The bird is created with wings because it's meant to fly. The plant is created with roots because it's meant to be rooted in the ground. Seraphs are created with six wings because of where they dwell in the heavenly realm where God is. With two wings, they covered their faces. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the design of a creature speaks into its purpose. God carefully created the seraphs with six wings, four excess. With two only they flew. Mm. But he made sure they have six because two were supposed to cover their faces. There's something about the worship atmosphere of the living God who is unequaled. 
that requires that the rebel our faces be covered I come to my generation to decree and declare that there is a faceless move of God that's coming in our time as we press into that move our faces begin to disappear and the face of he who dwells in unapproachable light becomes the face that the nations and the people will see how I long for the time when we will come in the presence of God as preachers and worshippers and prophets and apostles. And we don't mind that our faces will be on the poster. But that the face of he that created the earth will be imprinted on people's hearts as they walk out of such an atmosphere. With two wings they covered their faces. And I hear the Holy Ghost say, even as we press into the presence of God for such a much needed visitation and presence and a soaking is in our days. Oh, God. You need to understand that there are certain things that we cannot see in the glory if our natural eyes are open. Oh, he has to cover our natural eyes and open our eyes of the inner man oh, yeah. that we may see what only faith can see. For we do not walk in this journey oh, and in this traverse oh, by sight but by faith. Oh God, that you may close my eyes in the glory that, my, that I may see the wondrous things that only my heart full of faith and honor and reverence of God is capable of gazing. There is a dimension of God that the eye of our natural intellect cannot see. The eye of our physical anatomy cannot see. But the eye of faith in God is able to get into with two wings they covered their faces and scripture says with two wings they covered their feet with two wings they covered their feet and this reminds me of this very moment in this consecrated hour in space and time Moses has an encounter with God behind the burning bush and he had a voice that says remove your sandals and cover your feet why because the ground you are standing on is holy what made the ground holy was not the feet of Moses but the presence of God Adaba. if Moses had to uncover his feet because heaven had touched a ground on earth divinity had touched a spot on the natural how holy is the heavens how holy is the heavens with two wings the seraphs covered their feet there is a response there is a response there is a response that a consciousness of the holiness of god invading the space that we are in time requires and demands not only requires but demands not only requires but demands what posture of heart do you sense as a natural response to the consciousness of the holiness of God? Mm. As much as there's much to speak and say about the nature and the makeup of the seraphs, but the message they are conversing one with another Ooh. is the most shifting and shaking message. Mm. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with his goodness. Mm. When you behold his glory, when you behold his glory, everything created that's in your natural self gets traumatized. There is an awe-inspiring nature that is in the presence of God and how we long for it. The reason why our generation can't fear God anymore is because we haven't pressed into the presence of God. God, we pray today that even as we worship him, Restore in our hearts the fear of God. Spirit of the living God, you are not only the spirit of might. You are not only the spirit of power. You are not only the spirit of wisdom. You are also the spirit of the fear of the Lord. As you come down on us and brood on us, spirit of the living God, restore, infuse, inject the fear of the Lord in every heart. From the pulpit to the pews, restore in us the fear of God, the honor of God, the reverence of God.
that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Not only for seven hours, but all the days of my life. I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness with the most very important person's seat and position. Nothing beats a place, a permanent place in the presence of God. Cast me not. Away from your presence, oh God, create in me, create in me a clean heart and renew in me the right spirit, the right spirit, the right posture, the right heart, the right attitude. Ushatela akabeda zunabaya iribilia sade. Isaiah says, and I saw one who picked a call from the altar of heaven, and he came down with that call from the altar of heaven and touched my lips, and he says, you're cleansed, you're sanctified. And Elisar, and he shall come like a refiner's fire to purify the sons of Levi, that they can offer sacrifices in righteousness as in the days of old. Father, how we pray for the embers of heaven, embers from the altar of heaven to touch our filthy lips that swear vanity, that swear, that swear in vanity, and swear deceitfully that we may be worthy vessels. Stand on your altar and declare a word is coming from you. After he was sanctified and purified and his sins were forgiven. Brothers and sisters, when we come in the presence of the Lord to worship, we don't walk out the way we walked in. In the presence of the Lord, there is forgiveness of sin. Guilt is taken away. Condemnation is taken away in the presence. In the presence. In the presence not only that i need you to watch what begins to happen to isaiah here and he heard a voice asking who shall i send there is an invitation to divine assignment that we cannot have access to the frequency of until we come with a posture and an attitude of worship as we worship right now, there's many of you who had questions. Who am I in God? What has God called me for? And what has God called me to do? But as we worship God right now, there is a consciousness and an awakening, a budding of a consciousness, an awakening of divine assignment. There's many of you that are sensing God beginning to call you. Some of you were sitting on a dormant call upon your life. But there is an awakening beginning in the inside of you. Who shall I send? Who can go for us? Ayadabasa, I hear this. Arebelesanda, Elevesaya, echoed by the Holy Ghost to this generation. Arebelesadaya, we are now yet again to see a generation of men and women, young men and young women, abandoning their lives totally into God, availing themselves in total surrender and saying, God, if you can use anything, use me. The highest level of giftedness is not talentedness, mm. but total surrender and availability at the feet of the master. Oh. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works. You want to tell him right here, right now, you are the potter. I am the clay. You are the work of, I'm the work of your hands. You are my doer. You are my maker. I surrender in your hands. My strength, my weaknesses, my shortcomings, my fears, my reservations, my pride. Have your way. May the spirit of the Lord find expression in your life an imperfect man enters into a divine moment of worship with god and walks out as such a vessel a vessel of honor that heaven had to count on not only in his dispensation but even in generations to come
May that be your portion in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. Glory to the King. Oh, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. For he hath found it upon the seas and established it upon the flowers. And who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul to vanity, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall indeed receive a blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them. We are the generation of them that seek him, that seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your head, O you gates. O ye gates, and be lifted up, that the King of glory may come in. King of glory, we welcome you. Come in and just have your way. Come in and have your way right now. In the name that's above every other name. Let the king have his way. Let the king have his way. King Jesus, 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 we welcome you. We welcome you, yes. We welcome you. We welcome you. Come and have your way, hallelujah, Lord. Come and have your way, hallelujah, Lord. Touch your people, send your deliverance, send your healing. Send your healing. Yeah, barato da pakana ro ra de 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 katara. O randa gabada bora de kidara de. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Have your way, have your way. Have your way, have your way. Oh, thank you, Lord. We magnify your name, we magnify your name. We magnify your name. Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we love you. We just came to express our love. We appreciate you, King of Kings. We appreciate you, Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we appreciate you. We appreciate you. We just yield to what you are doing in this season. From the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet, we just offer everything to you, Lord. Sing through us, Holy Ghost. Sing through us, minister through us. We pray as we yield to you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we yield to you right now. As we yield to you right now. Glorious God. Glorious God, oh, mighty God, 
King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We love you, Lord, and we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Gimadi. Gimadi Akonyana. Gimadi. Gimadi Akonyana. Gimadi. Maria Konyana Hallelujah Kimari Kimaria Konyana Hallelujah Kimari Kimaria Konyana Yeah Kimari Maria Konyana, we say, Kimadi, Kimadia Konyana, Hallelujah, Kimadi, Kimadia Konyana. Let's do the verse. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, and I've been set free through the blood of Jesus, and I have peace with God. Through the blood of the Lamb, Kimari, Kimari Akonyan. Let's do it again. I've been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, and I've been set free. Through the blood of Jesus And I have peace with God Through the blood of the Lamb Kimadi Kimadi Akonya Naye Kimadi Kimadi Akonya Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. We announce the victory through the blood. The victory through the blood. The victory through the blood. We are more than conquerors through the blood. We are more than conquerors through the blood. He can't see Lemvana. He can't see Lemvana. He can't see Lemvana. He can't see Lemvana. All over the nation. He can't see Lemvana. He can't see Lemvana. All over the cities. He can't see Lemvana. 
He can't see them far now. All over the country, all over the nation, all over the continent. He can't see them far now. see the blood I shall pass over yeah, yeah, yeah. when I see the blood I shall pass over mm, when I see the blood I shall pass over blood of Jesus that speaks better things than that of Abel. The blood of Jesus that, that announces victory. Oh, hallelujah. The blood of Jesus that announces victory. Victory in the blood. Ephesians 1. We have redemption through the blood. Verse 6, 7. We have redemption through the blood. And the forgiveness of sins we have redemption through the blood everyone that is bound we declare victory through the blood of Jesus everyone that's gonna be watching we declare victory through the blood we declare that the people of God as they watch this they are being set free victory through the blood break free from addictions through the blood Break free from addictions through the blood of Jesus. Break free from the blood of Jesus from any cycle of the devil. Any demonic cycle. Break free by the blood. And we stand boldly and declare that victory. We stand boldly and declare that victory. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. You have been sick for many years. Victory through the blood of Jesus. You have been bound for many years. Victory in the blood of Jesus. Many of you, some of you are even feeling like God has forsaken you. You feel like God has left you. But I want you to know that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is available right now for your reconciliation with God. The blood of Jesus is available right now. Come on. The blood of Jesus is available right now for your peace with God. The blood of Jesus is available right now for you to gain access to the throne of God. And come boldly, come boldly, come boldly by the blood of Jesus. We don't come by our own works. Come on. We don't come by our own works. We don't come by our own strength. But we come through the blood of Jesus. We come through the blood of Jesus. Come on. We come through the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Jesus, my God, yeah, 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 yeah. Victory through the blood, victory through the blood, victory through the blood, through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus. Unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The garment will be upon his shoulders. Oh, the blood. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Those who have given up on God, 
the blood is still available those who have given up on God the blood is still available the blood is still available come back home come back home the blood of Jesus is still available the blood of Jesus is still cleansing the blood of Jesus is still healing the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus oh the blood of the Lamb Kimadi Akonyana the top ikazi ikazi lemvana ikazi ikazi lemvana yes i've been redeemed through the blood of jesus if it wasn't for the blood if it wasn't for the blood hallelujah hallelujah if it wasn't for the blood hallelujah if it wasn't for the blood of jesus And I have peace with God through the blood of the Lamb. Kimadi, Kimadi Yakonyana, Kimadi, Kimadi Yakonyana. Glory to God! Glory to God. Glory to God. The blood of Jesus, according to Hebrews, speaks a better, better things than that of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus speaks. The blood of Jesus announces the victory of the cross, the victory of Jesus. And we go right now. We invade the atmosphere of the nation. We invade the atmosphere of the nation. Hallelujah. And we say, let the voice of the blood of Jesus speak all over the nation. We say, let the voice of the blood of Jesus begin to speak all over the continent, all over the atmosphere of the continent and begin to announce the victory and begin to declare the atmosphere and no flying, flying zone for devils. You need to share this with your 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 family. You need to share this with your your friends, unbelievers. Let them hear as they hear the announcement of the blood. Something is gonna happen. People are gonna get saved right now. People are gonna get saved right now because when the blood of Jesus is announced, when the blood of Jesus is introduced, 
Come on. People get saved. There is a victory. The devil cannot stand the blood. The, the, the devil cannot stand the blood. The devil cannot stand the blood of the Lamb. Hey. Hey. If you announce through, if you announce the blood of animals, the devil can stand them. But if you announce the blood of Jesus. Come on, come back to your creator. Come on, I don't know why God is, is, is emphasizing that those who have left his presence, those who have left their secret place, those who have left their prayer closet, God is saying, my blood is available. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. God is saying, my blood is available to cleanse you. I don't know why God is emphasizing this, but if you have, you have, you have stopped praying, and some of you, the, you, you got into a cycle of habitual sinning. You got into a cycle of habitual sinning, sinning over and over again. And you now feel like you have exhausted the blood. Some of you, you feel like you have exhausted the blood. You feel like you have sinned so many times that you feel like the blood can no longer cleanse you. I came to announce to you that the blood of Jesus still has power. Come on. The blood of Jesus still has power to cleanse you. The blood of Jesus still has power. And God is saying, come back home, my sons and daughters. My blood is still available. Come back home, my sons and daughters. Approach my throne through the blood. Oh, God says, I've not rejected you. God says, I've not given up on you. God says, I've not given up on you. I've not left you. But I still want to restore you. My blood is available. I still want to use you. Yes, I still want to use you. Yes, you are still valuable to me, says the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. So remove your eyes from yourself and fix your eyes on Jesus. Oh my God. Remove your eyes from your weaknesses. Remove your eyes from your failures and fix your eyes on the cross. There's a flow of the blood. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just the strings alone. Just the strings alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And many of the, the people watching, we just ask that as you watch, you pray along. We just ask that as you watch, you pray with us and connect to this atmosphere. Open your mouth and connect as you are watching this broadcast. Open your mouth and connect and link to this anointing. There's going to be a transference of this grace. There's going to be a transference of this revival. And I don't care if it took you long and you've been prayerless for too long, but there's a new oil flowing from this broadcast. There's a new oil flowing from this broadcast. It is flowing, oh my God, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, and you shall begin to pray again. Oh my God. 
This is not for your entertainment, but this is a, a transference of power, an impartation of presence. Oh my God, the windows of heaven are open. This seven hours of prayer is a channel, link to this channel. Come on right now. This is not just for entertainment. This is not just for you to enjoy the music, says the Lord. But the Lord says this is a center of distribution. And all those that are watching right, right now, those that are, that are watching online, there's a distribution of power. And it's beginning to flow from this section to you. Wherever you are, there is that flow right now. Come on. Connect to it. Hey. Hey, yeah, yeah. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Hallelujah. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, hallelujah. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Jesus, you deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. Hey, 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 glory to God. Hallelujah. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Hallelujah. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the worship. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name. You deserve the praise. You deserve the praise. You deserve the praise. Hey, hey, Jesus, my God, you deserve the worship. Hey, 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 you deserve the worship. Hallelujah. You deserve the worship. Hey, hey, hey. You deserve the praise. You deserve the worship. Hallelujah. You deserve the worship. What do more go away? Hallelujah. What do more go away? 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 Oh, to mogu eh Oh, to mogu You 
deserve the praise Worthy is your name We bow before your throne We lift our hands and worship You deserve the praise Worthy is your name We bow before your throne We lift our hands to you You deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name You deserve the praise You deserve the praise you don't bother to get stored a better chicken now. Oh, mellow sake to Maggie Sataboko. Yet a cot and discord a better key that another. Yada con the better than all the meal. Don't let a good lady your toes so made a god or so. Yamano can the nearer he done made a day.
I'm most beautiful among thousands and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands just the strings just the strings yes that as we sing about him he's extending his hand of healing and healing many and you realize that what has been tormenting you has left because we magnify Jesus many of you will realize the craving for this thing that is outside of God's will has just disappeared. As we keep magnifying Jesus, these ungodly cravings are leaving you right now. As we magnify Jesus, pain is leaving your body. As we magnify Jesus, God is saying, I'm even restoring your brain. I'm out. Don't go there. Let it go. Surah. I'm restoring your mind. The devil had stolen your mind, but God, uh, yay! God says, I'm, I'm restoring your mind right now. Shoo! I'm restoring your mind. Shoo! God says, I'm not just restoring your mind, but I'm giving you the mind of Christ. Genius minds have been restored. Minds that will bet ideas that this earth has never seen. God is restoring these minds. And some of you, you've been in a season. Oh, you've been in a season of confusion. When you want to make decisions concerning destiny related matters you just get so confused that you even miss the voice of god and that that confusion was demonic 
But as we magnify Jesus right now, that confusion is gone. That confusion is lifted off you. Hey, that confusion is removed from you. And your divine ideas are coming back. Your genius is coming back in Jesus' name. this healing in Jesus name all, all complications even in the body we declare them the Lord is bringing divine order in your body in the name of Jesus issues with your stomach we declare it healed in Jesus name issues with the stomach we declare them healed in Jesus name hallelujah thank you Lord thank you Lord for these healings thank you Lord for these healings we magnify your name ah. let's sing it again Yeshu Yes, you are. Yes, you Jesus is gonna is gonna appear to many those that are watching some of you Jesus is gonna appear in your room God Jesus is gonna show up in your room in his power and in his glory hey. 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 I just see the Lord of glory, Jesus himself, just appearing to many at the same time, just appearing to many people. Just walking in different rooms. And when he walks in the room, some of you have been asking him that if you are real, show up. I see him showing up in different people right now. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yeshua. Yeshua. Yeshua, oh God. Yeshua 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 Oh Yeshua Among thousands, 
and thousands my beloved is the most beautiful among thousands just the strings say just the strings alone hallelujah yes Yeshua entering in your glory. Yeshua Your power, you deserve the glory and the honor, Lord. I lift my hands in worship as I bless your heart. Holy name, stay right there, stay right there. You deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. Deserve the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. Deserve the glory and the honor, Lord. I lift my hands in worship as I bless your holy name. You deserve the glory. Yes, for you are great. 
right. You deserve the glory. <laughs> For you are great. For you are great. For you are great. You deserve the glory. For you are great. <laughs> You are great For you are great You deserve the glory You do miracles You do miracles You do miracles no one else like you You do miracles You do miracles For you do miracles No one else like you You are great You are great. You are great. No one else like you. For you are great. For you are great. For you. Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We magnify your holy name. Holy, 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 holy. Hey, 
somebody lift up your voice and continue to worship him and bless him extol his name he's worthy of all the praise oh. Le vesel da bakabadaya Le brando soko veda badia saya for Le maso tere belezo da bai For if the clouds be full they empty themselves upon the earth Even as it was in the times of Noah Unprecedented as it was that he opened The fountains of the deep and the heavens to release rain and cause a flood. We decree and declare in the name of Jesus this multi-directional revival that's targeted towards our generation. As we continue to lift up a song from the depth of the Spirit of God. I need you to open up your mouth and begin to sing the song of the Lord. For there are two sources of songs. There are songs that are born out of the hearts of men towards God. And there are songs that are born out of the heart of God towards humanity. And that is the song of the Lord. Ephesians chapter number 5 begins to show us a powerful phenomenon that can happen even as we begin to provoke and do cloud seeding for revival even in this particular fashion and manner speaking one to another in psalms hymns and spiritual songs making melody in your hearts singing unto the Lord so psalms hymns and spiritual songs but I thought we only sing psalms and we only sing 
hymns and we only sing spiritual songs but Ephesians chapter number 5 and 17 down says speaking one to another that means there is a breed of believers that God is raising in this season they are not just coming to sing a song that's coming out of their hearts to the congregation and the fellowship they are picking the song that heaven is singing and they are speaking what God is saying through a song and beginning to prophesy the counsel of God even over one another even over the fellowship and over these seven hours we coming to speak God's thoughts, God's benevolence, expressions of God's heart over his people and over this generation. You might be waiting for a word from God in a sermon. But you might want to understand that the word you're looking for is already being pronounced and is already being decreed in a song, speaking one to another. Speaking one to another in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs. In this season, God is breathing even onto the composition. The composition capacity of the church. As we begin to tap into the Spirit of God, we pick the vein of the melody of heaven. And as we begin to sing the song of heaven and the song of the Lord, we begin to see manifestations of supernatural breakthroughs from healings to deliverances to chains falling off to doors that are shut supernaturally opening even as it was when Paul and Silas were incarcerated that as they began to sing spiritual songs and hymns Lenando Soko Badalia what a phenomenal deliverance the Lord wrote and effected in the midst of them Lenando Saba even as you begin to join us in worship and praise and singing and making melody in your heart in worship unto God every chain that was holding you I decree and declare in the name of Jesus every fetter is falling off right here right now in the name of Jesus Lenando Kopari Dalizadeba Lesatera Bakabada Amari Soto by and Job chapter number 35 and verse number 10 and says, Yet none says, Where is the Lord my God who gives me a song in the night season? The pretext of this particular scripture is a people that are under oppression and they are crying. Yet in their crying, nobody is asking, Where is the Lord? my God the natural thinking process of humanity is that when we are going through crisis and oppression and we are crying we want to cry for help but Elihu is saying nobody's asking where is God my Lord this is the season to become personal with God this is the season to transition and go beyond knowing the God of your fathers commendable as it is this is the transition this is the season now for you to make the God of your fathers your God where is God my Lord where is the Lord my God as you make him your God watch him come through for you and watch him deliver you watch him wipe away your tears watch him turn around your circumstances where is God where is the Lord my God who gives me a song in the night season in the night season one then anticipates and would be expected to cry out for light and deliverance and help in the darkest hour of life but the revelation here is that there is a song that God can give you in the night season of your life it's not just a song it's a communication of the Spirit of God and the intention of God concerning your life and I hear Jeremiah say I know the thoughts that I think towards you they are not thoughts to harm you but to give you hope and a future and as you begin to pick such a song in the night season of your life that song begins to be the conduit and the vehicle through which God and his word and his voice is communicated to your life and scripture says 
the entrance of his word brings light and gives understanding to the simple today as we lift up our voices and sing a song unto the Lord I decree and declare that light is breaking even in the midst of your darkness lift up your voice and begin to glorify God tell him how much he's worthy of your praise out of your belly even as we are worshiping right now there is many of you that have been going through a dry patch in your spiritual life the Lord is reviving you the Lord is reviving you we are digging a well of revival and it begins with your spirit if you have a tongue open up your mouth and release it in the atmosphere of your home release it in the atmosphere sphere of your presence wherever you are lekate mando soto bakabada leterebe soto ndabakabada lavreda zodaba there is something about tongues there is something about praying in the holy ghost the bible says building up our most holy faith by praying in the spirit praying in the holy ghost he that prays in the spirit edifies himself Begin to build yourself up. Begin to pray. Blessed be your matchless name, oh God. We exalt you. We magnify you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name. Lebonne, Pacupinha, quero sua. Cana o amadra, orira. O chene, o yenda, kumusha. Ixê, Jesus. Diwani kwe pavari Shungu zangu mwa Kuona lale kudeka Baku pwinya Kwero zuwa Kana wabanda yorira Wachene boyenda kumusha Naishe Jesu Diwani kweo pavari Umwari wangu
Amor 
Chinze kwa roba Rada Para Zerwa Napa Uchinji kwa Roba Rada Sota katusna kuzera asipamu, pamshiji kwa roba.
time for me. I thank you for the blood. Oh, Jesus. I thank you for the blood.
for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood that takes away the sins of this world. Kuzanda daya Rakatile Rekendi ya deda Zadi bae Kuzadi ya kaya Rikana mae Rekendi de Kandidi kasto Rikana La deda kaya Rikada Ah Ade kasi kede Rikendi
<laughs> Lord Jesus, <laughs> pray of heaven, pray of heaven, fill me with I want. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, bread of heaven, bread of heaven, fill me
up from the deep mighty clay <laughs> and he planted my feet was the key for the cross Lord thank you for dying for us thank you Lord so Ephesians chapter number 2 verse number 11 so then remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth were called the uncircumcised by those who called themselves the circumcised they underwent physical circumcision done by human hands. And at that time, you were without Christ, excluded from citizenship in Israel and from the commonwealth of Israel. And strangers to the covenants of promise, you had no hope and were in the world without God. But now, in union with Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of the Messiah. For it is he who is our peace through his mortality. He made both groups one by tearing down the wall of hostility that divided them. He has made us one bread and one body in Christ Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, now we have access to the Father into the presence of God by the blood of Jesus. For we were not bought by perishable things such as silver or gold but by the precious blood of the Lamb of God mm. 
as we come to the end of this worship session I would love to make a clarion call and extend an invitation so heavenly to you if you so ever question your destiny eternally if you die today will you spend your eternity with the Father? You need to understand that there are two things that are constant. Either he comes or we go. One thing remains sure. We will come face to face with him. Secondly, whether you know God or you don't, all of us are going to have eternal life. But the question is, where will you spend your eternity? The difference between where you will spend your eternity is the decision you have made or you can make right now. You might not have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior. This has to come so simple and clear. We want you to know that the blood of Jesus is still speaking better things on your behalf. The Bible describes it as the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Abel was the brother who was killed by his brother Cain and his blood was speaking from the ground calling forth for vengeance. But the blood of Jesus speaks and calls forth for forgiveness. It is by the blood of Jesus that our sins are atoned for. And today if you hear his voice do not harden your heart. He's calling you to a place of oneness with him. Why receive the grace of God in vain and why ignore such a depth of love and such a height of compassion? There is no greater love than this than that a man should lay down his life for another. He laid down his life for you and for me. In John chapter number 1 and verse number 12 and as many as received him he gave them the right, the power and the privilege to be called sons of God. Those who were not born according to the will of men but according to the will of God. You can be a child of God today. You can be born again. Your name can be written in the book of life. It's a decision. It's a decision. You might have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior before, but you, you know you had backslidden. You had backslidden and your relationship with God is not in the right place. The Holy Spirit was given to us to convict us of sin and bring us back to a place of realignment and repentance as we make a right our relationship with God. I want to give an opportunity to every backslider and every sinner that have not yet accepted Jesus Christ. I want to pray with you right now. You will be amazed if you have never prayed this prayer. This might be the most powerful prayer you could ever pray in your life. And this prayer will change your life forever. I prayed this prayer many years ago and my life has never been the same. I walk with such an assurance every day that eternity in the bosom of the Father is mine. And you can too. I would love to you to pray with us. Wherever you are right now, whether you're in your car, whether you're in your lounge, whether you are walking and you're in your office, in whatever space you find yourself in, I need you to just take a moment and repeat this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Come into my heart. Wash me by the blood of Jesus. Forgive me 
of all my sins. Write my name in the book of life. From today, I choose to live for you. My life is not my own. I recognize that you paid for my sins so that I can be forgiven. Today, receive me in your loving arms. I come back home in Jesus' name. Spirit of the living God, come sanctify me. Come fill me. Come show me the way of the Father. Reveal Jesus to me and fill me with all the graces and the gifts that you have been entrusted with for the believer. In Jesus' name, amen. God richly, richly bless you. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, we would be glad to hear from you. God richly bless you. Find a Bible-believing church close by where you are. Find a strong believer that you know. Tell them you have accepted Jesus Christ and you'd love them to help you in your journey. If you can, do a DM. We'll be glad to hear from you. God richly, richly bless you. Amen.